Hey guys, it's Trout91 here, and today we are doing the P90 and the Custom Class Guide. And the P90 is a gun with a fast rate of fire with low damage, and in my opinion, it's got great iron sights and it has a large clip, so I don't think scavenge is fully necessary. And the best side of them is the handguns or the shotguns. Now, my favorite attachment is the silencer. For some reason, I feel like it gives it a damage boost when I've got the silencer on, but in my opinion, it's just the best attachment all around. Now, the first perk I would pick is Marathon, because as I said before, Scavenger isn't necessary, even though the P90 has a bit of a low damage. Um, Marathon's definitely one you want to pick when you rush with submachine guns. It's because of the large clip, you don't run through ammo as much, and you're usually going to max out your kill streaks. Stopping power would be my secondary if I any game type, like I wasn't sure what my third perk would be for the game. The, s the second perk, even. Stopping power is always a safe bet. It is great on the P90 as well. It really does kill very fast. And it's just definitely one you should try. And Ninja I like to put on when I'm rushing. A bit of a bit of a ghost class. And here you'll see how stopping power can really do some work. Especially if you come up against painkillers. And the P90 doesn't necessarily need stopping power, but it does benefit quite largely, as you'll see uh, in this clip and other clips. And if you play generally, you'll see it does gen benefit a fair amount. So I would definitely consider putting stopping power if you're not too sure what you like. And the second one I would pick is the P90 with lightweight and sit rep with rapid fire. Now rapid fire is actually very good for the P90. It doesn't increase the rate of fire by a great deal. It only increases it by a slight amount. But that slight amount is very vital when you're playing with um, lightweight and you don't have stopping power on. I found if you don't have any other attachments, you don't have the silencer, rapid fire is definitely one to pick. I put lightweight on if I'm trying to rush in search and destroy and sit rep if I'm rushing into how the house on a state avoid claymores my third one is a bit weird it's the one man army cold blooded and instead of marathon i put one man army because in an old video i did it was a team deathmatch on high rise i was using the one man army perk with the fal and the p90 so i had my loud unsilenced FAL was stopping power, I could do what I want with it over the top of the map, and then once I wanted to flank underneath, I'd put the cold blooded P90 on. And it can work out very good, as you'll see here. Cold blooded just makes you invisible, and I literally just come up behind all of these people, and it's especially good in something like Domination. But then again, you want to be careful about what you're doing, since there is a lot of people, and at close range, if they see you head to head, you're likely to lose that battle. So just be careful about what you pick. And that's the P90. The next one will be the Mini Uzi. And I will see you later. Peace.